spacious interior, a smooth and quiet ride, and remarkably fuel efficient. The 2024 Jetta SEL is a compact fuel efficient sedan with plenty of space for passengers and cargo, and we're going to talk about it here today. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video. Now, if I was a slogan kind of guy, I would say there's nothing better than a Jetta. And the Volkswagen Jetta has had a place in my heart since the early 2000s with the Fast and the Furious days, but other people will gravitate towards it for other reasons. But that, that spec right there is just, you'll see in a moment with the interior, I love the way that this Jetta SEL looks for the 2024 model year. So we're gonna go over it, do the walk around, see all the options and features. And I'm gonna tell you what's new for 2024 and why you're gonna also love this Jetta. So with that said, let's check it out. And per usual, big shout out to Volkswagen Brandon for letting me take a spin around this 2024 Jetta SEL. If you guys want to get any of these cars from their lot in your driveway, make sure you check the link in the description so you guys can get their phone number, the link to their website, and see everything they have to offer here at Volkswagen Brandon in Florida. Now the big news for the 2024 Jetta is the fitment of VW's IQ driver assistance suite as standard equipment from the base S trim and up. Also added for 2024 are an eco leather steering wheel, leather gear shift knob, auto dimming rear view mirror, and rain sensing wipers. Now the next rung up sport trim gets standard heated front seats and space saving lightweight spare. Now of course we gotta mention dimensions. With a wheelbase of 105.7 inches, you have a length of 186.5 inches, a width of 70.8 inches, and a height of 57.7 inches with a curb weight of 3,131 pounds. Now looking at it, you can probably already tell this is not your normal white paint on the Volkswagen Jetta. This is opal white pearl. So we have a nice pearl white paint that gives different kind of lighting signatures when you get it in the sun and the Florida sun will definitely show out. I mean, you gotta come see it in person. My camera is not gonna show it out in its best way possible. But opal white pearl paint for our white color today. Now when we see up front, we will have full LED headlamps and LED daytime running lights or DRLs, which we will see illuminated all shortly. Now with that, you will see that we have the flowing LED DRLs around to where the headlight right there and the turn indicator will be right there and the amber turn signal or reflector will be on that side. Right up front, front fascia has a functional grill as you guys can see right here. There is a feed through there, so that is for cooling. But then you also have your chrome all around with the matte black insert and the BW logo right up front to give it its styling. Down below, they keep it very simple. All right, you have with the black infused plastic here, a functional grill down here as well. Again, for functionality with a front lip done in that same infused black plastic. And then the white piece right here, vertically, you will see that all when we have everything illuminated as well take a step back look at the front fascia and it's pretty clean pretty simple and pretty to the point for the jetta for 2024. now when it comes to the side profile our wheels 17 inches alloy wheels all season tires you guys can see the black black and black black and chrome look for the wheels there with the vw logo right in the center they all kind of mesh, mesh together uh, i like how the design of the vw logo plays off of the wheel design as well it also looks like it's spinning while it's sitting still so then you have that there with the sel badging letting you know what model we're working with here right there on the front fender and as you guys can see that pro paint is shining through you will see the pro paint on the mirror caps and the door handles everything matches up together with also the panel roof done in black here so you guys will see we have a nice big sunroof there done in black with the shark fin antenna done in black as well and then you take a step back look at it all together and that'll be the side profile of your 2024 jetta sel now the rear profile carries over a lot of that you know pizzazz that we have up front with the chrome accents on the rear diffuser here and same with the black plastic plugins there you guys can see it all blend together with the gold or gold chrome Jetta badging there and the SEL badging, the Volkswagen logo there and full LED tail lamps, which we will see illuminated in just a moment there as well. It looks really good all together. You see the third brake light is actually blended in on the shelf of the back seat there. And then you put it all together 
And again, it's pretty simple, pretty sleek, but it's pretty classy at the same time. So what kind of power are we packing for the Jetta under the hood for 2024? Well, this turbocharged intercooled 16 valve inline four engine with an aluminum block and head and direct fuel injection is going to give you a power of 158 horses at 5,500 RPM and a torque of 184 pound feet at 1750 RPM. Now, with the eight speed automatic transmission, you're going to have a zero to 60 time in 7.1 seconds and a top speed limited at 126 miles per hour. Now, in the beginning, I did boast about the fuel economy and I wasn't lying. 33, 30, 40. 33 combined city and highway, 30 city, 40 on the highway. And your highway range at around 75 miles per hour is around 580 miles for this car. That is insane for a gas vehicle and of course regular fuel in this to keep her going. And when it comes to stowage, this is one of the best in its class. 14 cubic feet of space and it's pretty deep back there. A 40-60 split when it comes to actually getting those back seats down. And as you guys can see, we have tons of room here. Not only do we have room right here on the surface level, we also have a false floor here. That, if I lift that up, you got a spare tire underneath there, as well as your tow hook and everything else. You might be able to fit a couple other things down there if you run out of space up here, but I doubt you will. Tons of luggage space, tons of capacity for the Jetta. Now, before we step inside, I want to show you guys the key fob of the Jetta on the back end where you'll see the lock, unlock, and this side you'll see remote start. This side you'll see the trunk release. On the actual side, you'll have the panic button with the little guy running in red. I always think that's pretty funny. And then on the back side, you will see the Volkswagen logo. This also has a physical key you can pull and actually have a real key just in case your key fob battery here dies. Now, before we hop in, we have a complete passenger volume of 94 cubic feet. Plenty of space inside of here. And look at the volcano brown. Look at the black Vienna leather all throughout this spec. How good does that look with the perforated seats, the white stitching? I mean, wow. I love this spec. And we also have on the door paneling, which we'll see up in detail right here, the gray inserts for the gloss wood, the gloss black, aluminum as well, and then the volcano brown with the white stitching and black with the white stitching. All of that looks so good together. The door panel will give us a good idea of what's in the rest of the car. As you guys can see, the speaker integration down here is really cool too because it flows. It carries the design all the way out through the door paneling here. So the door cards look really nice. Then you also have right here, your trunk release and your gas door release. So if you're wondering what those are, right there in your door panel. So let's step inside of this thing because it's already beautiful before we even get in. Now to start the car, put on the brake and engine start button right here. All right, now we're to life. Now we're gonna have a low fuel here as this is a new vehicle. So you will see that we only have 10 miles of fuel. So it's gonna give us our fuel light. So just in case you were wondering what that is, is the fuel light now we have leather all throughout here beautiful steering wheel all wrapped here with the vw logo gloss black on the inners and aluminum for the outers when it comes to the overall design of that pillar then on this side you will see your driver assistance controls here you will see your hands-free controls over here you also see your menu controls for your digital instrument cluster and you will also have your heated steering wheel control right there as well now this is a telescopic steering wheel so if i pull this down I can actually pull this forward, go up and down with it, however I want. For the sake of the video, so you guys can get the best view, I'm gonna push it all the way in, so you guys can see there and you guys can see up here. Now, on the left-hand side, you will see that we have our lighting controls here. A nice knob, all right? So no digital buttons, just something that you can flick and it's there, all right? Then you also have, right here, your lighting controls. On this side, you'll see for your stocks, you have your windshield wipers. So right here in the center, we have our eight inch media touchscreen, only two physical buttons on each side, but the rest is actually a touchscreen. And it's actually pretty, pretty responsive. As you guys can see, I'm pressing it and on the top of the dime there, it is actually changing right away. So yeah, keep that in mind that this is a pretty nice touchscreen to start off with. Now going down the center here, you will see that we have our HVAC vents, we have our hazard button there, and we have our dual zone climate control here as well with heated 
and ventilated seats. That is a good point to mention, as you guys can see, the heat and ventilation here. So that is beautiful. Now with that said, we also have a wireless charging pad right underneath here. We also have USB-C's right there. And then for that, we have the boot here with the shifter and beautiful black with the white stitching. So you guys will see, I'm going to go back into drive modes here. I can do that, but the gear selector here will also move to the side for manual shifting. All right, so keep that in mind that you can also do that here. Now with these buttons here, you will have, as we saw earlier, our start stop button. And let that focus. Well, the, the light's kind of getting on it, but our start stop button there, our 12 volt there. We have our electric parking brake there, our start start stop button there, and our mode there for our driving mode. So if I press that, you will see eco, you will see normal, sport, and custom for the driving mode. So that is your driving mode selector. Then we have here little storage space, good for the, your phone there. Then you have your um, cup holders there as well, right next to that. And then with your armrest here, which is a nice kind of crazy shape, all right? So it's got kind of like an angular shape here. And then if I lift that up, you have plenty of space down there with another USB-C plug-in. All right, so we got all the good charging when it comes to that. Now, with the rest of the spec you see coming through, you will see that grayish insert for the wood trim going throughout above the glove box here, which is a pretty deep glove box. You also see up top, we have the soft touch plastics. All right, and then you look up top, up top, and you will see the natural light coming in from the big roof. And then we gotta go right here to our multimedia instrument cluster, all right? So with that said, a couple different ways you can view this. As you guys see, there's a view button there. So I'm gonna press that and go through the different views we have here, because if I press view once, you will see that we have that full screen motion, and then we have information on that end. Now you can see the range for the, for the, uh, the, the gas is pretty, pretty, pretty low there. So yeah, we don't got too far to go with this one, but also I can change more information throughout this. So as you guys can see right there in the middle, now I got some more information going there. And if I have sub menus, I can even scroll through those sub menus as well. So you can do all kinds of stuff when it comes to configuring this model. Now look up top and you will see the controls for our sunroof there. You will also see that we have our dome lights there, SOS button up there as well, all that good stuff, floodlights. And then if I pull this down, you will see that we do have a mirror and the mirror right there shines with the light right here. Now inside, as I close up the door here, you will see that same flavor on the door paneling here, the speaker integrated with the brown and the black infused plastic there with the aluminum trim on the door handle and another speaker right underneath. I do have plenty of knee wiggle room here, as you guys can see. All right, so we're not hitting the back of the seat rest. And obviously with the spacious cabin, you do have heated seats right here in the center. And then you have the black with brown mixture and again, the stitching going all throughout on the seats with that nice design and the perforated leather. It looks really good back here. You do get a lot of natural light from that big sunroof there as well, but you also have a dome light back here as well. And then keep in mind, we do have an armrest here that gives us our cup holders. There we go, and get it to focus and brighten up. So uh, we do have a nice size armrest. And again, with tons of space back here, I feel like this is gonna be a good, comfortable place to be when you're inside of a Jetta. Now let's break it all down because for the 2024 Jetta 1.5T SEL, we're looking at a MSRP of 28,825, but we got a couple of things on here, right? Not a ton, but just enough to get us some nice options at $31,451 after that 1225 destination charge. You guys can see right above it there. All right, so what do we have here to get us to that price? Well, the opal white pearl exterior is $395, but the volcano black and uh, sorry, volcano brown and black interior, no charge. That is free. You also have the auto dimming rear view mirror with home link. That's $405. You have the monster mats for our floor mats, $296 and BW Care Pre-Pray Maintenance, $195 with the first aid kit and roadside assistance kit and $110. That's it guys, everything else you saw here today is standard on this model. So the performance is here, the exterior is here, the interior is here, and the safety and driver assistance with technology right here. Make sure you guys zoom in, make sure you guys screenshot see everything you can 
to see all this stuff standard on this car and also visit the website for the direct link to the car so you guys can see all this stuff save the files know what you're looking for and then you can bring it in and come with a good idea of what you're going to be getting out of your 2024 Jetta SEL. So opal white, volcano brown, what do you guys feel about the spec of this SEL 2024 Jetta? Let me know down in the comments below because again, I love this color combination and I had to show it off for you guys here today. Now, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up, help share it, but check the links in the description so you guys can get this Volkswagen Jetta or any of the other models they have here in your driveway today. Now, with that said, make sure you guys subscribe, but click the notification bell and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.